Hey there, I'm your host Lissawi, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a minimap. So if you look in the top right corner, this is exactly what we'll be creating. So we have our player icon, and we can see ourselves moving around on the minimap. So with that said, let's begin. Open up your project, and let's go to the content drawer. Now over here, you'll see I have a player icon, and we'll be using this to represent our player on the minimap. So if you don't have this, you can find plenty of similar things on the internet. I simply made this with Photoshop. So once you have that, that's great. Let's right click and create a new folder calling this minimap. So I will take my texture, which is a PNG and drag it inside the minimap folder. And once we have it here, we want to right click and go to Sprite Actions and create Sprite. So we'll be using this form to represent the player on the minimap. So once you're in this folder, we can also right click, go to textures and select canvas render target. And I'll rename mine to be minimap underscore target, but of course call yours whatever you like. So right click on this and go to create material. I'll leave the material name as it is, but go inside, select the minimap underscore target underscore material. So essentially just the output, go to the material domain and select user interface. So connect the RGB to the final color, apply and save. So we can exit that now. And let's also save this and then create our widget. So I'll call mine WB underscore minimap. That's looking good. So let's go inside of this and grab ourselves a canvas panel. And then on top of this, we, uh, we want to add a image just like so. So for the image, this is your minimap. So place it where you want it to be. I want mine in the top right corner. So I'll anchor it in the top right. Now for the size X and size Y, I'll have it at 200. I think it's a reasonable size and placing it somewhere about there, that's looking good. So over here, if you click the brush tool, I already had it opened, but click on the brush and you will see the image. So select yours and I called mine minimap. Now make sure you select the material and nothing else. So that's the material. And I believe that's all we have to do here. So compile and save that. Now we can exit and let's go to our player character. So for me, this is going to be the third person. And there we are. Now over here on event begin play, we actually want to write our code from here. So grab yourself a yourselves a sequence and zero will go to our old code. And then of course, one will go to our new code. So let's do create a widget. And for the class, we want our minimap. So minimap widget and in the return value add to viewport. So already, if we compile that and save, we will see that our minimap will be in the top right corner, but there's nothing there yet. So let's go back into the third person character, go to the viewport, select self, and let's add a spring arm. Now for this, I'll call it minimap arm like so. And once you have the minimap arm component selected, hit the add button once again, and let's add a scene capture component to D. So this will represent our minimap. So I'll call mine minimap capture, but of course call yours whatever you want. So once we have this, let's actually select the minimap arm and I just want to rotate it for a top down view. So minus 90 is good. Now over here in the camera settings, select inherit pitch off and inherit yaw off and same with the roll. So this will make sure your minimap stays in place and doesn't rotate. Now for the minimap capture, we want the projection type to be orthographic and for the size, this depends. So the higher the value, the further you will see on the minimap. So just play around. I'll have mine at 2000. And one more thing for the texture target, select your minimap target or that's what I called mine, so select yours. And if we compile and save, we will see our minimap working. So let's go and we can see our character is running around, but that's not what we want. We want our icon. So select the mesh, which is the character mesh, hit the add button, and let's add ourselves a sprite. So we want the paper sprite. I'll call mine player icon, like so. And once we have that selected in the source sprite, we will select our player icon that we created at the, at the very beginning. So select that, rotate it to 90, 
and drag it up. Now play around with the size. Since my minimap is kind of big, I'll have mine at 0 0.5. So let's see if we can get there. We can. So about there is good. Compile and save. And if we hit the play button, we can see everything's working properly, but we see that at the very top. So to remove it very quickly, select the icon, scroll down, and you want to go to rendering. So hit the advanced and select owner no C. So compile that, save, and now if you hit play, you'll see the minimap is working and there's nothing above us. So that's all working perfectly for us. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.